What's going on, everybody? Welcome to MLS Now. I'm Rachel Bonetta, and CONCACAF Champions League fever is at an all-time high right now. Montreal continued their run with a 2-0 win over Costa Rica side Alajuelense last night in leg one of their semifinal in front of more than 33,000 fans inside Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Most of the madness happened in the first half of the match last night with both goals being scored by Ignacio Piatti and Victor Cabrera before the 45-minute mark. Could this be the very first Canadian team to make it into the CCL final, please? I don't want to get too excited yet. This is only leg one, and MLS teams have not fared well in Costa Rica. To walk us through the energy of last night at the Big O, we are chatting with Olivier Tremblay this morning, who is the Impact Beat Writer here at MLSsoccer.com. So thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. It absolutely kills me that I couldn't be there last night. What was the atmosphere like before the match started? Uh, before the match started, uh, there was still that it's that proverbial bro, proverbial buzz that everybody's talking about in Montreal. Joey Saputo wanted to bring that back, and you know it, it, it's there for the first time ever since I started covering the Impact. Going to the game, someone actually recognized me on the Whoa. subway, and we chatted about the game, about about all this stuff, and uh, there was a good vibe. On, on public transit, going to the game uh, in the in the lobby as well before you get into the stadium and the atmosphere when when the team started warming up and everything it was really good and then of course when the goals started to go in then it it went up a notch. Well, they had two first half goals that was pretty impressive in the first place and then they could have had more in the second half. What did you think of Impact's performance last night? Yeah, they had a very very good first quarter of an hour. Uh, Conversely, Alajuelense d didn't show up in those first 15 minutes. Montreal showed more of what they want to do offensively. They had guys combining, and, and, and some guys put in their best performances in, in quite a while. Dominic Aduro was un almost unrecognizable. He on on the so right incredible. He is so fast. When he was playing in Toronto FC, I was amazed. Well, his Twitter handle is like freaky fast or something like that. He is incredible. Yeah. He is such an incredible player. Yeah, he is, and, and probably someone got Papa John's pizza to him uh, in the lead-up to the game because he was really good. His first touch was his first touch was off against Pachuca, but this time it didn't let him down as much, and he 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 created space for the likes of Piatti, who also had an excellent game, even though there were a couple of times where maybe he could have released a teammate that was in a better position than him, and he didn't. But overall, even even Dilly Duca, who went off at halftime with tightness in uh, his left leg, quietly had a pretty good first half, I thought. Let me ask you this. Montreal struggled in their MLS opener against DC United. Does this team look different when they play in CCL as opposed to MLS? Yeah, yeah, they do look different. And But, but to be honest, all, all of Montreal looks different uh, when it comes to MLS and CCL. Generally speaking, I don't think CCL is that important to many MLS teams as MLS Cup is, for example. But in Montreal, CCL is a really big deal. The atmosphere in the stadium is always different when, when CCL comes around. And Montreal have, you know, they're putting the, all their eggs in the CCL basket for now. No doubt about it. So let me ask you this. Do you think is 2-0 a big enough lead? Do you think that these guys are going to be making it into the final, given their track record? Uh, it's not, if a third goal had gone in, it would be much more comfortable, but I don't think it's that bad as Corline, really. Uh, Montreal are much more solid at the back than they were, uh, in years past, and especially when they were a second division team going down to play in Mexico. Uh, if they score one goal, just one goal, they prove that they can score yeah. uh in central america in in mexico they scored two against pachuca and they stunned the crowd there but montreal they there's just a confidence to them and you, you can just see them going there on a mission and feeling that they can do it so i i think it's very plausible that they go down to alajuela and they actually get the job done and uh, make it become the first Canadian team to make it to the CCL final. I would not be mad about that. I would not be mad about that at all. <laughs> would you? Well, uh, Montreal has a quick turnaround this weekend as they travel to New England on Saturday. What kind of lineup do you expect to see with the short turnaround? Oh, I think there will be changes. Uh, obviously, the Duca injury, you can uh, you, you can expect maybe a change there. 
there are no news as as of today. If Duca is all right, tightness again in in the leg was all we got last night. Uh, but they they will want to to get guys some rest. Thanks so much for chatting with us, Olivier. Au revoir, and make sure you guys are following him on Twitter. Only Tremblay. What do you guys think? Can Montreal make it to the finals? Let us know in the comments below. You guys can watch Montreal in the second leg of the semifinals as they take on Alajuelense on April 7th at 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 2 in the U.S. and Sportsnet 1 in Canada. Bye.